Hey people, so it's been quite a while since I did a proper new History of Power Rangers episode. Or a re-upload of an old one with a new recording and whatnot. And in fact, you may have noticed videos that I've already uploaded before suddenly reappearing in your feed as new videos. What's the deal with all that? Well, let's answer all these. First of all, History of Power Rangers for Ninja Steel will happen when Ninja Steel is finished. It still is not. I cannot do a History of Power Rangers episode on a series that is not completed. What's more, I can't do one on a series that isn't all out on DVD. At the time of this recording, only Season 1 is done and out there. Please be patient. No, I have no opinions on Ninja Steel at this time, because I have not watched any of it. I don't watch the series until it's all done and out. I have also not watched the 25th anniversary episode. I have not finished Shattered Grid, so I have no opinions about that either. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell me spoilers. I prefer to check this stuff out with fresh eyes and in its entirety. So why has there not been any re-upload of an old one in a while? Honestly, it's 90% I've been busy with everything else. Producing a weekly series is difficult enough, but the 10th anniversary year has been hell on my schedule, with many, many episodes ending up being extra long, and having an increased amount of storylines and videos pertaining to the 10th anniversary has eaten up a lot of my time. I'm also now doing weekly streams every Saturday night, unless I'm out of town, so that's a few more hours that I can't work on any other projects. Another issue pertaining to that busy schedule is now the subject of re-uploads. YouTube, in their infinite wisdom, has in the last few months altered the sensitivity of the content ID system, allowing rights holders to detect footage lasting considerably shorter amounts of time. Most of my content, focusing on comic books, has been largely unaffected while my colleagues have been dealing with this. Sometimes a mere five seconds of continuous footage is enough to get a video flagged. It's kinda nuts right now. Naturally, this has affected History of Power Rangers. The thing is, if Content ID just detected all the problems with the footage, I'd be happy to fix it, re-edit and re-upload in one go. However, that same Content ID system has decided, nah, if we detect one or two things, that's enough, don't need to look for anything else. So stuff like the History of Power Rangers video for Power Rangers Samurai Part 1 has been re-uploaded more than 20 times now, unlisted each time so it doesn't keep showing up in your feeds, each time needing this fresh re-upload to fix whatever new thing it's detected. Well, I tell a partial lie there. See, the other issue related to this is that the content ID system isn't picking up all these segments of the video at once. No, no, it will be detected days or sometimes weeks later. Right when I think the video is in an acceptable form, I'll get an email informing me that some new 8 seconds of footage is too much. Right now, my policy is to only release the updated video if it's been over a month since a new content ID claim has been put on it. And that's no guarantee I won't still get one, it's just it hasn't happened yet. Also for the InSpace video, I still unfortunately have not been able to acquire the cover I wanted to make for the music video segment of it. If you watch the old video, you know what I'm talking about. It'll happen eventually, it's just the people who I work with are very, very busy. And this is not a high priority. I am sorry about the re-uploads. For those of you who have suggested I go to a different place to host them, YouTube is ubiquitous. It is where people go to watch videos. If I want to keep growing the channel and attracting a new audience through History of Power Rangers, it has to be through YouTube. However, for those of you who have been eagerly waiting for In Space or any of my old versions of videos, I finally bit the bullet and re-uploaded all the old versions of History of Power Rangers Vimeo, at least the ones that don't have a YouTube equivalent now. I don't make them publicly available to search for through Vimeo, but you can view them all on my website, atopthefourthwall.com. Thank you for your continued support, and hopefully we'll see less problems in the future. But there probably will be.